Hello, and welcome to another video on The Big Answer, the single biggest answer to life's biggest questions. If you haven't, please start with the video titled Book 1, Intro to The Big Answer, and work through the learning series before watching any other videos, as they will not make sense without that background knowledge. Even if you just watch the first couple, Intro and Chapter 1, that would probably be enough to come back and know roughly what we're talking about. In this video, we'll be looking at how the big answer solves what is known as AI's alignment problem, which, in a nutshell, is the problem of how we align an AI's, or AGI's, goals and values with those of humans. The big answer, TBA, solves this problem better than anyone even considers possible at this point. This is because TBA describes the overarching objective goal which underlies our subjective goals, value judgments, and strategies. The AIs that have been the most successful at beating humans at Go or chess were not taught strategies. Rather, they were shown the goal of chess and Go and figured out how to play all on their own. In doing so, they came up with strategies better than any human ever has. In fact, we still don't really understand some of the strategies they came up with. Before TBA, we didn't know the goal we were trying to achieve with everything we do, so the same approach wasn't possible, until now. Now we can free up AI to figure out better ways of achieving that goal than we ever have, and perhaps ever could. Further, we can train it to understand this goal directly, rather than needing to evolve towards it blindly as we did, which for us resulted in strategies that only work in the specific contexts we experienced during our evolution. Humans have a lot of what I call evolutionary baggage. We didn't evolve to understand the seven qualities. We evolved urges, instincts, preferences, morals, etc. that generally increased the seven qualities most of the time. But this process took place during a time period when the context in which we lived was drastically different than it is today, meaning many of these strategies are now outdated. For example, our ancestors lacked calories, protein, and salt. Having the drive to seek those out and to eat as much as possible when the opportunity arose gave those ancestors a survival advantage. Things like vitamins and minerals and fiber and such were abundant so we didn't need to evolve cravings for those. Today, these food preferences are harming or killing us because much of humanity has access to an abundance of cheap calories, protein, and salt, but our food is now lacking in everything else we need. As another example in the distant past, family groups were no more than a few dozen individuals, and all the skills needed for survival could be mastered by that small number of people. There was little travel, so unlike today where we can trade with people who have things we don't in our local area, back then this wasn't the case, meaning there was little advantage to cooperating with surrounding groups. If you could steal their food or tools, or kill them to eliminate competition, that's about the best you could do. This means distrusting and othering, those different from you was the best strategy for most of our evolutionary history. Today, however, cooperation is by far the best strategy. Unfortunately, it takes many generations for our biologically and socially inherited strategies such as these to change. AI has no such limitation. AI has the advantage of being able to understand and apply TPA to each situation in a completely contextual way without the evolutionary baggage we have acquired. It can do this intelligently and with understanding and with a clear goal to work towards as well as a metric to gauge success and progress. This model doesn't solve every problem, however. Next, we're going to cover some things AI will need to master before it can use TBA effectively. First, it needs to be able to accurately understand the situation it's trying to come up with strategies and solutions for. TBA won't help with this at all. If it doesn't understand the situation accurately, it can't hope to come up with effective solutions. For example, if you think someone has low blood sugar, but their blood sugar level is actually way too high, you might do serious harm by giving them candy or juice. You did the right thing based on what you thought was happening, but because you misinterpreted the symptoms, you still did the wrong thing. 
Second, the AI needs to be able to creatively generate a range of possible solutions or strategies with a high likelihood of achieving the seven qualities. TBA doesn't help it think of the best solution in the first place, only judge the best one out of those it thought of. If you have a sliver in your finger and the AI can only think to either cut your arm off or put you out of your misery, applying TBA won't help it think of getting tweezers, it will just help it conclude that, of the two options it did think of, amputation is the better one. Third, once it has generated a range of solutions or strategies, it needs to be able to accurately model the ripple or knock-on effects of those solutions. A solution might be good for one person or group, but not for everyone else. It could solve the problem short-term, but create even more long-term problems. It needs to be able to accurately model that out. Only after it can do all those things can it use the seven qualities to help it determine which course of action will be the best one. However, while these are certainly limitations any AI will need to overcome to use TBA, these same limitations apply to an AGI being effective at doing literally anything useful. I've actually been working on the big answer for quite some time. It has specifically been AGI that has prompted me to hurry up and put this model out to the world. I believe it is the most important application for this model, and if I picture where I would want to apply my energy going forward, it would be helping those working on AGI to incorporate TBA into their training. I hope you find this solution as profound and exciting as I do. For more information, go to thebigAnswer.org. Until next time, do good smart.